be our drowsiness detection. Um, now we have a robot here, we, our passenger eye, and he is actually monitoring about 17 features of your face. He's going to be watching for um, drowsiness detection. He's going to okay. be watching for you falling asleep. Now, if you do, if you bob to the right or the left, you'll notice that he should follow with you. And um, it is a demo, so you could be snoring right now, and he's not going to change his path. But you get the point that he is watching. He's monitoring. Gotcha. So, now with the meter, you'll see you've still got your speedometer. You can hit the accelerator and still be seeing that. But as the passenger eye is watching you, he's going to be noticing you're getting a little drowsy, and you're going to be. You can tell the amount how drowsy you are by the amount of coffee in the cup. Okay, great, okay. because it's a coffee cup now. Yeah. If you want to shoot over to your right here to the navigation center, or to your navig screen, you'll see that it's now offering you options as to where you might want to stop for a cup of coffee and for a break. Little Starbucks, here. Or in this case, out. Miami coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing, you know, as things get worse, if things become very serious, we can also give an audio and a visual warning signs. Okay. Now, tell me about this. Uh, obviously, this is an iPhone. Is this just for display purposes, or is it? No, actually, we are looking to customize. What you can do is download uh, your favorite design of meter from the internet, put it on your iPhone, and actually insert the iPhone into your steering wheel. Hmm. And then you have your meter pulled up from there. Again, if you get the accelerator, something just a little bit different. That's very cool. Find what you like. The last thing we have to show you is our Eco Drive. And your Navi screen now will turn into a little bit of a presentation for you. But basically, what we're doing is using VDX technology. So you have the technology installed in traffic lights and in your car. So the lights will be sending out a signal, communicating. Your car will be receiving that signal. And the two will work together to help you get through all of your intersection lights on a green light. You can notice on the meter, it's giving you an optimum speed oh, to drive. So. You notice the colors are changing a little bit. Yellow is a warning you're going a little too fast. Blue, you're going too slow. But it's giving you an optimal Interesting. range to get the green lights. Now the good thing here is that, of course, you will eventually hit a red light, mm -hmm. just with conditions. But when you do, your instrument cluster and then tell you how long that red light is expected to last. We do stop it a little bit early for safety purposes. Mm -hmm. We don't want anyone doing the countdown. Three, two, one, mm -hmm. go. But again, it's concept model. Yeah. Just some ideas and who knows, very, very possible.